Hi Zwifters, welcome to another episode of How to Run on Zwift. Today we are going to be looking at heart rate zones. When you log into Zwift, if you are wearing a heart rate chest strap, you should be able to see heart rate in the top left hand corner of the Zwift screen. You can see there mine is 64 BPM at the moment. Underneath that you can see some colours, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. They are your heart rate zones. This is how runners measure their effort in running. This is how we measure how hard we're working. In cycling they have power. Now we do have power in running but it's not established yet, it's not well used. We still use heart rate to measure how hard we're working. In order for Zwift to work out what your heart rate zones are you need to set your max heart rate. Now the way we do this is we go to menu and you click under your name at the top, you click the little edit pen there and you get your user profile and to the right hand side you can see where it says max HR and mine is 180. I have manually put that in, you can change that manually to whatever you want. If you don't know what your heart rate zone, your, your max heart rate is, you need to find out. If you're a regular runner, if you use a heart rate strap outdoors or if you've got optical heart rate on your watch, the, you should be able to find out what your max heart rate is. So click save once you've put that in and we go back to the main screen. So what are those heart rate zones? Okay. Um, We'll start at the, the right hand side, the red zone. The red zone is anaerobic. This means that you're working absolutely flat out and your heart rate will be near to or at max or even over max sometimes briefly. Then the orange zone. The orange zone is threshold zone. So you are working very hard. Your heart rate is really pumping, but it's not quite at max. But you couldn't keep threshold zone up for very long. You certainly can't keep anaerobic zone up for very long. Then you've got the yellow zone. This is tempo zone. This is where you would do um, a good, let's say five mile run at a really good pace, but not an absolute ball breaking pace. You're not gonna kill yourself doing this, um, but it's a good steady solid pace where you're working your heart. The green zone is endurance zone, as it suggests, endurance, long distance, um, fat burning. So you're not using quite as much glycogen as energy, as fuel, you're using your fat. You're using endurance zone in your long runs, your 20 mile runs, your Sunday runs, your marathons, for example. You will be dipping into the yellow zone, but mainly in the green zone. And the blue zone is recovery. Really, you're going to spend very little time in that zone at all, maybe a few minutes at the start of your run. Uh, so recovery zone is not really working very hard at all. So that's what those zones are. The, the zeros in the boxes are going to be minutes. So the more you run in each zone, they will tick up one, two, three, four, five minutes, 10 minutes in each zone. So that's what the zeros are. They just Tell you how long you spent in each zone. The thing to remember about heart rate is it tells you how hard you've worked. So you can spend less time worrying about whether your treadmill is matching the speed in Zwift and whether you're going at the right speed because speed really for training is not that important. What's important is how hard you're working. So say for example you're going for a long run. It doesn't really matter how fast you go or even how far you go. What matters is that you're staying in a sensible heart rate zone that will allow you to continually run for a long period of time. If you're doing a fast 5k race then you want to know that you're working in threshold or even anaerobic zone for a little while at least. That's how you measure the effort that you're putting into your run and when you've finished your run you can see how hard you've worked by how many minutes you've spent in each zone. And that's it guys we'll see you for another episode of How to Run on Zwift very soon. Do take care. See you again. Bye bye.